everybody. <laughs> Today I've actually got my one of my oldest and dearest friends with me who was in fact on a television programme last night on the BBC with Tom Kerridge, the English chef. He has a show called Top of the Shop, which is a competition show. And Justin, Damien Bruce Grierson, can I have a round of applause? Thank you. <laughs> was one of the competitors in the show, in the confectionery category. Justin is a master confectioner. Um, I've known him since we were 16 years old, a very long time. So I'd like to introduce you to Justin and his very exciting product. Now Justin makes something which is a recipe of his grandmother, Nita, who I remember very, very well. It's a take, it's a, it's a new innovation on a very, very ancient recipe that's probably been going for hundreds of years. The recipe of the, the actual product is called Scottish Tablet. But Justin makes something that is Scottish tablet with a complete difference. He's called London and Sons, and this is called the Rebellious Royal Tablet. And it's totally different. It has flavourings. I mean, the, the very top selling one happens to be whiskey and horseradish. Yes, you heard that correctly. It's a mixture of whiskey and horseradish. Justin, being with Scottish roots, obviously, is quite a whiskey connoisseur. Now, tell me a little bit about how it started, Justin. Well, my grandmother used to make it, so she'd make traditional vanilla Scottish tablet. Um, I, I still make her version, uh, but what I've done is now I make versions which I put on uh, crushed digestive, so you kind of get the saltiness against the sweetness. Mm. And, and it makes it firm, doesn't it? Then it's not, I think it's a bit flaky without that base, is it not? Yeah, it's quite crumbly. The tablet's meant to be quite crumbly, mm. and it dissolves on your tongue, whereas fudge is more chewy. Yes. Um, and then I've got a coconut tequila chilli, so you get heat at the end, and a gin Ooh. and cardamom, a lemon lime. With gin chili. and cardamom. Say that again. Gin and cardamom. Gin cardamom. Oh, that's lovely. Um, lemon lime, the chilli, and a ginger and wasabi, which is really nice. Ginger well. and wasabi sounds really because ginger is quite light. I mean, oh, you've got that. Ah. Well, the wasabi is not a heat, but it gives it a really lovely depth of flavour. Yes. So, well, also the horseradish doesn't come through as a heat because. When you dehydrate it, it loses the heat. The heat's in the water, so it has this earthy sweetness to it. So do you dehydrate the horseradish or do you buy yeah, no, no, you have You do everything. Yeah. He does everything from scratch. It's a completely artisan product. Yeah. So, yeah. I remember your grandmother making this. So Justin, I've known Justin since we were 16, and his parents, I have to say, were the most hospitable, most, most patient parents that any teenager could ever have. <laughs> because they put up with Justin, his brother, and all your friends, of course, there were like hundreds, sometimes a place was full of hundreds of teenagers, taking the place over. Well, you actually lived in the basement, so yeah. we had your den. Yeah. But I remember Nita, very glamorous. She was like one of the golden girls, wasn't she? Yeah. Always jewellery, and I remember pottering around in that back kitchen, mixing, swirling, all this was going on, heat, you know, all this bubbling, and she was making the tablet. Yeah. Um, so I, I remember that. It's, it's, and I've got some other sweets here today for us to, we'll have a little sample of those later compared yeah. with your tablet. But it's, it's amazing to take it all back to them. But when did Nita die? She died uh, probably about 20 years ago. So it's been oh, a it's while, awful. So, we yeah. were so old. I mean, I remember her. And of course, I mean, we're looking back to that would have been in 1988. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. 1988. <laughs> oh dear, that was the first summer of love. Do you remember we used to go raving? I know, it's good days. I mean, do you remember the days we were raving? I remember the late 80s, early 90s. I remember before you passed your driving test. Yeah, I remember having it the same day as Bombman. Yes. And she passed and I got failed. And oh, I didn't she, know that. she was the hour after me. And it was pure coincidence. I remember your registration of your Jeep was B seventy four MRK. I don't know. How you <laughs> it, was, it was your mum's white Jeep, and you, she sort of said, "Oh, Justy, you better." You sort of commandeered it, basically. Yeah, it got passed on to me. It yeah. got passed on to you. Yeah. That was great. So, I mean, these were happy, happy times growing yeah. up, and your parents were so welcoming. I mean, you know, I grew up as a teen without any money, and you know, very, very poor. And I remember your dad was always saying, oh, come along with us, Sherry. You'll be going out for dinner, we'll go. He paid for everybody. Yeah. I mean, they were so hospitable. Yeah. And I have to say, Justin, at this point, they've had a great influence on me, because their hospitality is something that I've always wanted to live up to. Lovely. And I've sort of carried on, hopefully, being as hospitable as your mum. Do you remember when we went on that picnic? She made us... We were driving, she made us Pim's Cup uh, yeah. with all the... <laughs> we didn't, there wasn't such a thing as drink driving in those days. No, all so, underage driving, all oh, underage drinking. Oh, there was nothing, there were no rules. 
So, um, I want to talk more about the flavours. Are you going to do any seasonal flavours? I, I will do. I mean, you know, around Valentine's Day, I do one um, which is the traditional vanilla, but with chilli, because chilli is not good yet. Um, rose, what about rose? Rose water. Try some of this. This is Persian. This is okay. from Iran. Try this and tell me what you think. So what is this? This is a Persian sweet, a traditional Persian sweet made of honey, butter ghee and uh, dates. It's a lot of ground fruit, ground nuts and a rose water. Mm. Traditional. I can this taste is, the rose water. This is from the days of the Achaemenid period. This is from the days of Cyrus the Great. You know, this lasted is lasted that long? <laughs> it can last forever. <laughs> yeah. it's, do you like that? It's delicious, yeah. It's quite you nice. You can really taste the rose water. You can really taste. I think that maybe it'd be quite fun for you to do, well, for roses, for Valentine's Day. You could put, you know, I'm thinking mm. that. What about cannabis well, I oil? I prefer the chilli for Valentine's Day because of the aphrodisiac. You know. Do you? What about cannabis oil? I'll be doing it. Yeah. Um, you know. Well, if anyone's going to do it, if anyone's going to do it, Justin can do it. Well, I've um, done medicinal. it for like 30 years. No, I know. Yeah, I'm quite happy. But medicinal. My yeah. It's become a very true. I mean, it's become known now as a. Yeah, it's becoming highly regarded. Yeah. I need to open this. Highly regarded now as a, as a cancer. You know, as a mm. shrinking cancer cells. So I mean, so you know. Get rid of your cancer, but you get diabetes. Well. <laughs> this. Oh, look at this. Now this is the tablet. Oh. Oh, it just smells now. like home. You know. Mm. It's got a really homely smell. Yeah. It smells a bit like, it smells of sweet sugar, cigars, Cigar. leather armchairs. Yeah. It does though, you know, yeah. I sound like Jenny Golden. <laughs> it smells lovely. You've got stuff all over your nose now. Have I? <laughs> okay. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's lovely, Justin. Mmm, now that. So you tried that? Yeah. Try this. I don't know if you're going to taste that now. Because the mm, traditional no, I can. is quite sweet. Mm, isn't it? Very sweet, but yeah. they're both. These are all very sweet things. Yeah. This is absolutely lovely. This is gorgeous. Now he sells at Portobello Road on a Friday. We're very lucky to catch him. We better get there before he gets really big and won't do it anymore. <laughs> What's the situation? Because you've obviously got a lot of people interested in the product, and how can you keep the artisan product, but people wanting a commercial output? Well, I just am going to be training more people to make mm. it with me. So we'll still make it in small batches, but mm. I'll have more people working with me. Um, because now I've got the, the, the website up so people can order online. So it already. Mention the website. The website is uh, www.londonandsun.com. And uh, yeah, you can go and order and get all the different flavours on there, and I deliver all over the world. Mm. Um, but yeah, so, you know, since the BBC show, um, its sales have gone up, so mm. I'm now in the, in the process of getting people to help me make it. At the moment you're making it at home, and I know your brother's a chef as well, <laughs> Carl's also a chef. Um, can you use this kitchen to make it, or is he very well, much involved he, he with his works for, um, he's the head chef at Wembley, so oh, I no, can't really no, go in there. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be getting my own kitchen mm, in the next couple mm. of months, like professional mm -hmm, kitchen, mm -hmm. where we can have uh, a team a of team, people working. A team. And then I can focus on new products because mm. that's I'm the creative. I mean, I'm a photographer my whole life, and now I do this. I'm creative. Uh, I need other people to run the business side of it. And well, you did used to, you know, I used to do a food blog. I mean, a few yep, years yep. ago, when you were in the States, because obviously you've lived in the States for 15 years. Yeah. I mean, we, we didn't, I didn't see you much during that time, yeah. because obviously you're when we're all living our lives. But then you came back with your sons, your beautiful boys. And that, of course, London and Sons, it's named for his two sons. But um, so obviously it's, it's really there. This is going to be a, a product, which is a sort of family, a family business, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's the plan is to, you know, leave them something yeah exactly so, exactly so, yeah. did you used to make this with the boys well i made it for them i started that food blog which i still have going splattered under, egg right well it's under justingrearson.com you can there's links to it but uh um i made it for them and i was i made it for that site when i was doing that site because it was a lot of different family recipes and recipes i've picked up around the world um and yes that hence i then made it and the kids had it mm. and then i made it for them for an auction for their school and it did really well and you know, that's kind of where and you got yeah, married in a kilt so i mean i remember years mm. ago we were about 16 i remember you and bronwyn going on the train the night train to edinburgh yeah, yeah, I, I really that. wanted to come didn't have the train fare no. <laughs> i wanted yeah. to come with you didn't yeah, i should have asked you to let me trip. you would have lent me the money wouldn't you justin course, you would yeah. have stood me the ticket <laughs> Fun, fun times. I don't know if you would have liked where we stayed up there. Oh, I know. It was, it was a freezing bit cold. Oh, you said that. Window. Oh, God. Yeah. I mean, this is, we're going back to, yeah. back to 1988 again, yeah, isn't exactly. it? 
I mean, you must be everybody's favourite party guest now that you, because you bring this wherever you go. People love it, you know. They do love it, yeah. Do you yeah. think it's improved your love life, not just because of the the actual aphrodisiac quality of the, some <laughs> of the ingredients? <laughs> well, I think it's going to the more money I make. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right on. <laughs> mm. Justin, it's so lovely. Thank you. And we want to see a lot more of you. We want to see you all over. I want to see you in Harvey Nichols. I want to see you in Selfridges. I want to see you even with a, an artisan range in all the good shots. Mm. I, I mean, I'm really hoping that we can get the, you can get the productivity up and still keep it in artisan because yeah. that's what's deterred you from going global like that, isn't it? Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's part of, at this point, working out the best way to grow it so that it can, can make money. And still be authentic. Uh, you know, and for me, um, when I talk about making other products, I'm not talking about just Scottish tablet. I'm going to be making marmalades, pickles, and just doing my type of takes on all of them. So I'm hoping by Christmas I'll have... Do you know I've got a mulberry tree in the garden? Oh, have you? From I this, think I remember that. From this mulberry tree was brought by David Garrick from Shakespeare's Garden at Stratford. Right, it's a 300-year-old tree, yeah. and the fruit on it is wonderful. Really? In the summer, would you like... When I, I'll pick some, we can come and pick it, and we can put yeah. mul... There could be a mulberry... This yeah. is, we're on. Listen, we, we, we've got a, we've got something nice, going really. here. Yeah. You yeah. can put maybe use some of this in the tablet. It's bright pink. If yeah. you get it on your hands, you look like a murderer. You look Lady Macbeth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. Well, let's try. It. Let's try it. I don't even know what it tastes like. Oh, sweet. Oh, it's so sweet, but ah, as well. Ah, it's well, we should, bright we, we pink. We need to dehydrate some. Yeah. Let's, so, yeah, do, let's it. do that. Let's do it. Cool. Justin, it's been an absolute pleasure having you here, Thanks and I hope my, 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 my followers on YouTube have enjoyed it. Look out for this man, Justin Damien Bruce Grierson. Add him on every form of social media you want to, and please, please, try the Scottish tablet. <laughs> Justin, it's been wonderful to have you here. Thanks, I love you, darling. Oh, can we have a round of applause? <laughs> Hi, I'm Justin Grierson. I was recently on a show called Top of the Shop with Tom Kerridge on BBC Two. You can find my site www.londonandsun.com or justingrierson.com.